Reps Dan Hunter from Manchester, Connecticut. Uh, came down here to uh, rally with all the Patriots on this day when uh, the, the uh, British marched on uh, Lexington and Concord. The Patriots defended the right to bear arms. And so we're here to remember, memorize, memorize them and keep that unalienable right going and prevent the state from usurping that unalienable right. And so we hope we get more people here today, so come on down. And isn't this a fancier bridge than Lexington? Absolutely. And it's a lot bigger, so we can hold a lot more people. Yep. All right. Thanks for coming down, Dan. Thank you. We're getting Hartford here. We got Dan from uh, uh, from Manchester, and now uh, you're from uh, Bloomfield. Bloomfield, right? Absolutely. Terrific. And who do you got with you today? Younger son, older son, and the wife. Oh, nice to meet you. Now you have special names for your for your sons, don't you? Um, he goes by the name of Cider Builder. He goes by the name of Bikini Boy. Now tell me, uh, what is the special significance of those nicknames? Uh, well, it comes from martial arts, internet, the habits that they like. Okay. Yeah, what they do kind of outside of school and being indoctrinated into things like Common Core, um, Bluefield Board of Education, rewriting the Constitution, pretending that the Second Amendment doesn't exist, pretending that we're a democracy when we're really a republic, things like that. We owe their um, miseducation to Dr. Um, Ellen Stoltz of the Bloomfield Board of Education. Well, uh, we've got a nice crowd down here and uh, we're going to the party. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Thank you.